Hello all my truth seekers. In this truth seeker requested video, an inspired video, you all don't find it weird that Beyonce and Jay-Z were so against, so against the union of Kim and Kanye West? So much so that they missed their wedding? Some think Wendy Williams' theory on Jay-Z flirting with a lady named Rachel Roy at the gala led to the elevator altercation. But again, it was only a theory. Wendy Williams wasn't there. So why would B and J care? Most say it was because they never approve of the relationship between Kim Kardashian and Kanye West and didn't want to be seen hanging out with them. You know, J and B only hang with anyone who looks good in the media at the time and would not affect their limelight. Not to mention the well-hidden rumor of Jay-Z secretly wanting Kim for many years, but Kim only had eyes for Kanye West for many years. So the question is, was this resentment isolation, alienation of many people against Kanye all part of of them taking down Kanye because conveniently now Kim is VIP to Jay-Z's parties without Kanye. Then shortly after, Kanye has a breakdown. Let's talk. Please note that this is all alleged. I've never met any of these people. I've deeply researched all of my information. See that look in my eye, ain't gonna stop anytime soon. Run up while I cry. Here we go again. I mean, this is the truth show, and there's more. Oh, I'm not, and there's more. Oh, I'm not done. I mean, this is the truth show. This is a trigger warning. In this video, I may be talking about or showing sensitive material about some subjects or topics that may be disturbing or upsetting or may bring forth some troubling memories, as you read in the description or title. With that said, either in the video now or brace yourself. Aside from that, enjoy. Make him believe we're friends, brothers, break down his guards. As we know, they were seen everywhere while performing Jay and Kanye's Throne album and more. With Kanye producing Jay-Z for years, Kanye made Jay-Z millions and the superstar that he is. Hey, that was his friend, which is why Kanye was happier for Jay's first baby announcement than Jay-Z. He was a real friend. He stood up for them several times when he thought they were wrong or should have deserved something from the award committee. So we can say getting Kanye to trust them actually worked. Second, use his powerful tools such as his voice against him, make people think he's crazy. So it took one time during an awards program when Jay made an obscene comment, kind of, it wasn't that obscene, about Kanye speaking, which someone marked him and people immediately started thinking Kanye was crazy and couldn't talk. Jay did this on purpose. I'm bad at losing, I'm bad at winning, I'm always saying the wrong thing, and uh, I wish Jay-Z was here to say something politically correct for me, but uh, you know, Thank you, thank you. I don't know what he said, but uh, we really work really hard on this album. We, uh, we ain't take anything for granted. You know, we ain't rely on our name. I don't know if you said that already. Yeah. We ain't rely on our name. We, uh, true that. <laughs> Guess what, my truth seekers? Did you know that you can get exclusive commercial free videos on my Patreon? I post my viral and block YouTube videos on there and more and stories that I wrote. You know, I write stories, people. Oh yes, I post them on there. I'm gonna start doing my video diary on there pretty soon. <laughs> yeah, I need to communicate with my truth seekers. They are lifesavers. I love you all. Oh, okay, I'm supposed to be advertising my Patreon. The link is below. Third, isolate him, destroy his friendship circle and make people afraid to take a risk to be friends with Kanye. Immediately, you start seeing Kanye friends being stripped away one by one. Last to leave was John Legend, whom they invited to an event to flaunt in Kanye's face, especially when Obama, J, and B are homeboys. I mean, they're just close friends. Obama called Kanye foolish, mainly because he didn't plug his campaign or donate it to it, 
Why? Because he felt that Obama wasn't being honest and was too close to Bush, despite Bush's reputation and his family's. He called Bush a racist. Take a look at this. The way America is set up to help the um, uh, the poor, the, the black people, the uh the less well off as slow as possible. I mean, this is Red Cross is doing everything they can. We, we already realize a lot of the people that could help are at war right now fighting another way. And they, they, they've given them permission to go down and shoot us. And subtle, but in even many ways more profoundly devastating is the lasting damage to the survivors' will to rebuild and remain in the area. The destruction of the spirit of the people of southern Louisiana and Mississippi may end up being the most tragic loss of all. George Bush doesn't care about black people. Hey, don't miss out. Click the subscribe and like button. Also, don't forget the bell button and then select all so that you can get notifications for every video I upload on the Truth Show channel and the Truth Show channel deluxe. Never miss out, y'all. However, Beyonce and Jay-Z donated millions and campaigned for Obama. Heck, the Obamas were so happy, whereas Michelle and he invited them to the White House. Now the Obamas and the Carters are just friends. This heartbreak crushed Kanye and bitterly forced him against Democrats forever. And that's why he supported Donald Trump, aside for Kim trying to free unjust criminals using Obama's prison reform system and needed Trump's sign-off. He did it for her, you know, his then wife. If you all remember, the hospitalization came after Kanye abruptly canceled the remainder of his St. Pablo tour and launched a verbal attack on Jay-Z and Beyonce. Fourth, getting Kanye hospitalized after he spilled the beans on Beyonce and Jay-Z involvement in the award selection. Did you know? The Kardashians are close to the Clintons and Jay-Z and Beyonce campaign for Hillary Clinton as well. Oh, I'm not done yet. The Dr. Michael Farzam hospitalized Kanye West back in 2016 and he's friends with Jay-Z. This doctor had left Kanye in zombie mode. But get this, he was recommended by famous fitness trainer Harley Pasternak. Yes, the one who sent Kanye West that text message to have him drugged both times and then and now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just calling. I'm actually uh, one of his doctors. I'm just calling for my cell phone request if we can have some police backup because uh, I don't think the paramedics, you know, are you not? Uh, are, you, are you there now with him? Let me if you can, if you can bring both, I, 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 yeah, because yeah, I think he definitely is going to need to be hospitalized. So I wouldn't just do the police by itself. I think he needs to. Okay, what is the medical? You know, what is the medical condition he's having, sir? Weapons involved or in the area? No, no, no other weapons. No. And you're his, his doctor or therapist? Yeah, correct, doctor. Yeah, he's, obviously he's here with us. Don't, we'll don't let him get any, any weapons or anything like that. If anything changes, if he does become physically combative between now and when the police and or paramedics get their calls back immediately in 911. Will okay? do. Thank you so much. Thank okay. you. Let me catch you up. Yay, Kanye West has pretty much blew the doors open on Pasternak Gate. Harley Pasternak used to be Kanye West's fitness instructor, in which this is allegedly a conversation they had via text, in which Harley Pasternak seems to be threatening Kanye that he's going to drug him out of his mind and he's going back to zombie land and his play date with his children will never be the same. Talking about Kanye. If that text message conversation is indeed from Harley Pasternak, I think that's a big mistake then that would allude to him being responsible for Kanye West being hospitalized and handcuffed back in 2016. Because back in 2016, that's where they picked Ye up at Harley Pasternak's home. Thank you. Hi, Josh. All right. Thank you. Hi, Josh. Why this is Pasternak gate is because, well, he's got a client list full of A-listers. One that I'm particularly curious about is Brittany Murphy. Hey, my truth seekers, did you know that I have a blog? A blog that I post personally selected stories onto. I also have an online journal where I give you a peek at my personal life and more. So please go to the Truth Show Channel dot blog. All the links are below. Beyonce is the face of Tiffany Diamonds and Kim Kardashian is the ambassador. Mm -hmm. Did you know that? Then you sit back and let the dominoes fall to the point well which you see now. I mean, soon as Kanye breaks his chains from corporations making millions off him, 
Jay becomes the new runner man and his silent partner slash sidekick in crime, P. Diddy, becomes their joker. And then they're seen smiling from ear to ear, calling themselves gods, thinking they won. Oh, sure. <laughs> we all know karma is a bitch. Oh, don't get me started on the rumors surrounding the death of Kanye's late mother, Donda. She wasn't a sacrifice for him. She was the sacrifice to isolate Kanye and use him without his mother being in the way. Kanye sacrificed his soul, not his mother, but he's been stripped from that deal. You all know the story of Job in the Bible. Remember, he gets his millions back and then some, and his enemies pay. You all can learn a lot about Kanye from his mother's book. Go read it. Here's a brief word from my sponsor. The world's falling apart. Every day, another shocking headline makes you wonder what tomorrow will bring. That's why those who know what's coming are using today to prepare. I'm talking about getting your family some high-quality emergency food from My Patriot Supply. My Patriot Supply is a nation's leading preparedness company. They've been in business for going on 14 years now, and they've served millions of American families. Now they want to help you by giving you $50 off their popular four-week emergency food kit. Oh, yes. You get four weeks of food per person with meals designed to give you more than 2,000 calories a day. By the way, this food stays fresh up to 25 years in proper storage, so it will be there when you need it. Other food goes bad first, you know what I mean? So don't wait. Go to prepare with my link with the truth and claim your four-week emergency food kit. You will save $50 per kit if you act now. So prepare with me at preparewithtruth.com. Don't wait.